Hi, Dr. Jim Norman. In this video, I want to tell you the three most common questions that I'm asked, and I'm going to give you those answers. We've previously discussed that we all have four parathyroid glands, and they're about the size of a grain of rice. When you have hyperparathyroidism, parathyroid disease, it's usually because you have one, sometimes two, rarely three or four, parathyroid tumors, about the size of an olive or a grape or an almond. We've already previously discussed that that tumor is constantly making too much parathyroid hormone. And that parathyroid hormone goes to the bones, takes calcium out of the bones, and the bones get osteoporosis. We've discussed that to cure parathyroid disease, all you gotta do is take out that tumor, the other three parathyroid glands wake up, and you're fine. You've got spare parts. God gave you three spare parts, you'll do just fine with three parathyroid glands. In fact, you can do fine with two parathyroid glands. You can do fine with one parathyroid gland. All you really need is about half of one good parathyroid gland, and you'll be fine. The most common question I'm asked is this. If I have a tumor in one of my parathyroid glands, and you take it out and you cure me, am I going to get another parathyroid tumor in the future? The answer is almost always no. In reality, if we cure you today, or if you get cured of your parathyroid disease, you should be cured forever. Is it possible to get a parathyroid tumor in one of your remaining parathyroid glands? It's possible, but the chances of you getting parathyroid glands in one of your normal parathyroid glands is about the same chance of me or somebody else, your next door neighbor, getting parathyroid disease. So the answer is no. Nobody gets parathyroid disease twice. I've seen it maybe three times in 12 or 13,000 of these cases. The second most common question I get is, well, now that the parathyroid tumor is out, should I take Fosamax or Actinel or Beneva? Well, as we've discussed before, everybody with parathyroid disease gets osteoporosis. Even young people, even men who never get osteoporosis, can get osteoporosis if they have a parathyroid tumor. The tumor's constantly taking calcium out of their bones. Too much hormone, too much hormone, calcium comes out of the bones, the bones get osteoporosis. Fosamax, Actinil, Beneva, Reclast, Evista, these are all really, really good drugs. They're all designed for postmenopausal females who are estrogen deficient, and they work great to prevent or even cure um, osteoporosis in, the, in this age group. They were not designed, nor do they work well, with people with parathyroid tumors. So my patients who are on those drugs who have a parathyroid tumor, the drug's not helping. Once you take the parathyroid tumor out, the question is, should I take Fosamax or Alctin on one of those drugs? Here's the answer. When we take the parathyroid tumor out, your bones will get better. This process stops. We give you calcium, we give you vitamins, and we make your bones better. Your bones will always get better once the tumor's out. The question is, will those drugs make your bones better faster? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And I don't know who it is. I can't tell who will benefit from those drugs and who won't. Many people do, some people don't. So I would discuss that issue with your doctor and your endocrinologist. I, would, I typically tell my patients, if they have really bad bones disease with a T-score of minus three on your bone density test, with a T-score of minus three or minus 3.5 or worse, I think that the risk of those drugs is so low that the benefits outweigh the risks, I would take those drugs. If your bone scores aren't that bad, then you may not want to take those drugs. You may just want to see how much bone density you get, um, how much bone density you gain um, just by taking calcium and vitamins. The third most common question I get is, is my kids going to get it? Are my kids going to get this disease now that I've had it? Is this genetic? The answer is no. Your kids aren't going to get it. It's not worth testing. Does it run in families? It can run in families. Sometimes, maybe one, one and a half, two percent of the time, it runs in families, but most of the time it does not. So just because you have it doesn't mean your kid's going to get it. In fact, if you have it, the chance of your kids getting it is only slightly higher than the chance of my kids getting it. So should your children be screened for this disease? Not really. If your children are having problems with, if your adult children are having problems with depression or fatigue or chronic fatigue syndrome or some of those problems, then yes, it's worth testing. Just have them tell their doctors that 
you know, my mom had parathyroid disease, maybe I should be tested for it. But as a general rule, just because you have parathyroid disease does not mean your kids are going to get it. In fact, almost for sure they won't. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you have all the answers to your questions you want, and I wish you the very best. Thank you.